to be tough, it needs to be effective. That's what my amendment is. Smart, tough, and effective. It provides for enhanced improved border security and enhanced enforcement of immigration laws while allowing the Department of Homeland Security and the states to determine how best to use federal resources. It provides support for our border patrol without threatening the safety or security of our troops serving overseas, or for that fact, people of our states. It gets to the root of the immigration problem by beefing up enforcement against employers acting illegally by hiring undocumented immigrants, the very essence, the magnet of what drives people to this country. So I urge my colleagues to vote for this amendment when we have the opportunity tomorrow, rather than the amendment offered by Senator Sessions. I think it really gets to the heart of the problem that all of us are challenged to achieve. Madam President, very briefly, uh, let me move to one uh, other issue while uh, I still have time. I've said before uh, that our debate over this budget is a fight for the economic future of America. The core of our economy is America's great middle class, how productively they work, how much they save, how much they spend. And it is clear as day, clear from the tsunami of foreclosures, clear from the reports that are coming in about thousands of people losing their jobs, clear from rising gas prices and health care bills and college tuition, it is clear that the middle class needs help. What the middle class does not need is another round of tax giveaways to some of the richest members of our society in which their collective taxes are being used in a way that is disproportionate to those who least need it. Budgets are about priorities, they're about choices. We have to choose. Are we going to do what many of my colleagues on the Republican side of the aisle are advocating and spend the people's money helping a billionaire avoid taxes when he bequeaths his mansion to his child? Or are we going to help out two parents that are struggling with the mortgage payments on a house for them and their children? When Senate Democrats put together this budget, we made the choice to put middle class families first. And I'm proud to join Senator Baucus in offering a responsible plan for expanded middle class tax relief. The amendment he is offering would take some of the pressure off the families who are most in need of help by providing $300 billion in tax relief for working families. First, it provides tax benefits to members of America's armed services. It's up to us to make sure that when our men and women in uniform risk their lives overseas, they have some measure of financial security here at home. This amendment would help those service members in need by allowing combat pay to count towards eligibility for the earned income tax credit. It would also provide additional relief to small businesses who continue to pay the salaries of National Guard and Reserve members who are called to duty. And the amendment extends relief to parents and married couples. It would expand the child tax credit to provide relief to more families, provide permanent relief for married couples from the marriage penalty, and make the 10% tax bracket permanent. And I'm also especially pleased that this amendment includes a provision that I have worked closely in the past with Senator Baucus on, expanding federal tax relief for property taxes. It's a provision that would be welcome news to thousands of New Jersey families, since property taxes are always a top concern we would create a new standard deduction for property taxes that could benefit more than a half a million New Jersey taxpayers alone and could send $86 million to the people across the state. So that's only one example of how it's replicated across the country. So I say to my colleagues, remember, American families are all watching us right now to see what we're going to do. Are we going to spend $51 billion to hand out tax breaks for Americans who are earning over a million dollars a year? Or are we going to focus our resources, spending them wisely to put tax breaks in the hands of those who need it? Families, servicemen and women, Americans, Americans who are working hard every day to achieve the American dream. And are we going to do the same on the amendment on immigration? Are we going to focus our resources against the very essence, the magnet of what drives people to come to this country in an undocumented fashion? and to make sure that our National Guard and Reserves are used the right way, and to pursue the assistance of the Border Patrol where they ultimately need the help. Those are our choices. That's what we'll have tomorrow. I hope we'll join together and give this responsible tax relief to middle-class families in America who need it most. And with that, Madam President, I yield the floor.